Alex Morgan and her husband Servando Carrasco are the ultimate sports power couple, but making a marriage between soccer stars work is no easy feat, especially when it becomes a long-distance romance. Here's what you don't know about these athletes' world-class relationship. It's never easy being away from the one you love, but that's the reality Alex Morgan faced after her husband was drafted by the LA Galaxy in 2018. Carrasco was forced to move from their Winter Park, Florida home to the other side of the country. The pair now makes the marriage work for more than 2,500 miles apart. For Morgan, the realization that her husband was moving to the West Coast was disappointing. In an Instagram post, she said contending with the distance would be one of her biggest challenges in 2018. What was the hardest is just us like expecting to live together and to kind of share you know, our lives together here in Orlando, and unfortunately that didn't happen. While having a long-distance marriage is difficult, this couple has had a lot of practice for it. As Morgan put it to the Orlando Sentinel, with the national team, I'm away for a couple weeks at a time all the time, so we've gotten used to that. There's also a light at the end of the tunnel, since the pros don't expect to be playing soccer forever. They hope to lead a more traditional lifestyle once they retire from the sport. Carrasco told Pro Soccer USA, It's far from ideal to be that far from your wife, but we know that this is temporary. We're only going to be able to play professional soccer for five to six more years. We've got to take advantage of this and know that when we're done playing, we're going to be together. Alex and Servando have been together since they met at UC Berkeley as freshmen. A whole lot has happened since then. A gold medal, two FIFA Women's World Cup wins, a wedding, and a cross-country move. Though Morgan became the youngest member of the U.S. women's national team when she joined during her senior year of college, she wasn't exactly a star athlete when she first met the love of her life. Carrasco told MLS Soccer that Morgan was, quote, very raw during her early college career, but the potential for greatness was always there. Carrasco said, Clearly, she had the athletic ability. She was the fastest player on the team. She had an amazing left foot. She could strike a ball on a rope. And then she started to add things to her game brick by brick. She got better tactically. She started watching more soccer. Her first touch got better. She's not just a finisher now. She's not just a person that builds her game off of her speed or off of her athleticism. She's always looking for a challenge. After dating for nearly seven years, Servando popped the question while the couple was visiting California's Manhattan Beach during the off-season. The pair reportedly wed on New Year's Eve 2014 in front of about 180 guests in Santa Barbara, California. Talk about a great way to kick off a new year! According to People, Morgan wore two dresses, a Berta bridal gown for the ceremony and a shorter custom Amsel dress for the reception. The couple danced to Jack Johnson's Better Together, enjoyed a Mexican-style spread with a quesadilla bar and churros, and then held a balloon drop at midnight to kick off the new year. All in all, it seemed like such a lovely, normal wedding that you'd never guess Morgan was a gold medal Olympian with an international profile and her own kids movie. You're Alex Morgan. I know everything about you. I'm your biggest fan. After the wedding, Morgan Morgan told People, We are both so happy, grateful, and excited to start our lives together as Mr. and Mrs. Carrasco. I truly married my best friend. When two professional footballers tie the knot, you might assume there's a fair amount of competition. But Morgan and Carrasco don't waste their time competing with each other at home. They save it all for the pitch. Though Morgan's credentials are undeniably impressive, including World Cup wins, a gold medal, and a slot on Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world, Carrasco doesn't love his wife because she's a soccer superstar. Instead, he loves her just for being her. He told MLS Soccer, I'm not competing with her. I love her for the person she is, and what she accomplishes is almost secondary to that. Of course, I'm proud of her, there's no doubt about that. Of course, her accomplishments do make her interesting company to have in the family. Servando said, When my nieces talk to her and they look up to her, that's as good as it gets. I mean, the soccer stuff, yeah, for sure, cool. But to see her on the 100 most influential in the world in Time Magazine, I'm like, damn, she's making a difference. You'd think that a husband and wife who spend their days on separate coasts playing soccer would spend a lot of time talking shop about the sport, but Carrasco and Morgan try to keep their professional and personal lives as separate as they can. Though Carrasco admitted to Pro Soccer USA that they enjoy watching games together, at a certain point, the couple opted to prioritize their marriage above all else. Carrasco told MLS Soccer, At first, we were talking about games and stuff. You know, like, oh, you should probably do this, probably do that. And now, I think the marriage is more important. We kind of keep soccer separate. 
In the event that one of them does want to discuss their play, Carrasco said he falls into more of a supportive role, though Morgan certainly appreciates his insight. Carrasco admitted to MLS Soccer that the one thing they won't ever do is tell each other when they've played poorly. He said, "...that stuff wouldn't be good for our relationship. She has a lot of people that do that for her, and I have a lot of people who do that for me. Last thing I want is to hear it from the person I love." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.